feel is the, the strongest middle, uh, super middleweight world champion right now? I mean, to say who's the best is kind of hard to say, but I would say, you know, the, I mean, all, all those guys are top. I would probably put Plant at the bottom of those names that you just named. Really? Like Benavidez, yeah, I think Plant is good, but I think he, you know, I think he's, uh, you know, he can he can be beat. He's beatable. I, I see a lot of flaws in his game. Uh, but as far as Benavidez, he's probably the strongest that I've seen amongst all the guys that you just mentioned. Uh, but now that I'm coming up to super middleweight division, that you know, it's interesting. And now these guys have my attention, and I'm going to be studying, looking forward to, you know, what's best, what's next for me in my career. But as far as right now, it's this little little weasel that is in my little spine that I can't get out. His name is Gabe Rosado. He's been annoying <laughs> the hell out of me. <laughs> He's doing a good job to try and get the fight. Lord have mercy, this guy, man. So yeah, I don't know. Right. I don't know what, where my next fight might that, be. But uh, is that is that beef or is that just like he? You, you you've been there before. You know the game inside out. You're looking yeah. at the world champions. You've got a guy in Gabe Rosado. Good fight. Good fight. A good profile. But for you to to and no no disrespect to Gabe, you have to pick him. Sure, you know what I mean? For sure. Like, and he knows that. Yeah, but yeah. is that is that his game right now? I mean, I know there was some stuff off camera we saw of you, you guys on an escalator in Vegas. Then he was bit, in the yeah. Phoenix fight, went a little bit, but do you yeah. think he's just like a little chihuahua at your heels right now? Yeah, I just think fight? it's a little it's it's a little envy and it's a little jealousy, you know. He, he, I remember him saying something as far as when I was commentating, trying to say I'm trying to be a fake Andre Ward. But I'm a versatile man. I can do many things, you know, and I think that because he's a gatekeeper, I think, you know, it, it doesn't sit well with him because we all came up together. You know, we all, and for me to surpass him the way that I am and the way that his career has gone, he has to go other routes to get a fight. And wow. Those are the words of Danny, Miracle Man Jacobs. And first of all, Daniel Jacobs, Danny Jacobs, however you want to refer him, is the Miracle Man. He is a prestigious fighter. You know, his personality outside the ring, you know, he's a guy that has a lot of character. And he was asked about the um, <clears throat> super middleweight division. And he said they're all good guys, but he puts Caleb Plant at the bottom. He says he sees a lot of things and a lot of holes in his defense. And he's definitely beatable. He thinks um, Benavidez is probably the strongest but now that he's there he has all these guys attention and definitely Caleb Plant at this point because I know Caleb Plant is going to say something or counterpunch something or have something to say when he hears this particular video you know and looking at Danny Jacobs he's always been a pretty big middleweight so um Looking at Danny Jacobs moving up, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. It just adds more fuel to the fire at the super middleweight division. If you take, you know, Danny Jacobs there and then you get him, you put him in there with Caleb Plant, classic fight, you know, and I think actually Caleb, me counterpunching <clears throat> uh, those guys, I think Caleb Plant would be one of the best. But then again, we don't know because these guys haven't fought each other yet. Okay, so a lot of these guys, you know, I've got Canelo, now Danny Jacobs is moving up, Caleb Plant, uh, uh, Benavidez, you know, you have these guys that are there already, Canelo, they're there. So um, it looks like the super middleweight division is going to be a lit division. And he talks about Gabe Rosado. I do remember the confrontation that those guys have. And Gabe Rosado is a charismatic guy. He kind of reminds me of the current um, the current day Arturo Gotti, but bigger. Just a bigger Arturo Gotti. Thin skin, uh, heart of a lion, you know, very exciteful, very entertaining fighter. Sometimes he gives too much of himself in the ring, I think. You know, and gets too greedy. That's how Lemieux caught him. But that was a classic fight. Referee Steve Willis was in there and made it that much more interesting. So Gabe Rosado has a lot of uh, uh, classic fights where he almost wins or he almost loses. <laughs> you know, and Danny Jacob, of course, I think he got under Danny Jacob's skin, honestly, because why would you mention him? Why would you mention Gabe Rosado? Gabe Rosado has like 10 losses, but... 
10, 11 losses, right? But so did Mickey Ward, and Mickey Ward is one of the most um, iconic boxers. You had a movie after him, for Christ's sake. You don't have a Zab Judah movie, do you? No, but you had a Mickey Ward movie. So it's about how exciting you are, you know? Okay? Right? You, you know, Roy Jones Jr. is regarded as one of the best fighters ever, but he doesn't have a movie, does he? But the guy he destroyed was uh, the Tasmanian devil, Pazzy, uh, uh, Benny Pazienza, has a movie. I bleed for this, right? So, yes, it, it's one of these things where Gabe Rosado, I think, has got under Danny Jacobs' skin from the things that he said because they were capping back and forth. It was, it was entertaining, to say the least, and I think Danny Jacobs is going to go for that, that, that bait. You know, and Gabe Rosado is the guy that he has to pick because Gabe Rosado is not on a level where he's like a mandatory or anything like that. He's a war horse or, or a gatekeeper. He's like, um, he kind of puts you in the mind of Derek Chisora. He, Derek Chisora will win one. He might knock out two and get knocked out twice. You know what I mean? Then come back and knock somebody else out and then lose the next fight. That's Gabe Rosado. But nonetheless, he's exciting. He's into demand. He's that go-to guy. Get Gabe Rosado. He'll fight. Right, and Gabe wants a piece of Danny Jacobs because, as Danny Jacobs said, these guys came up together. And to see Danny Jacobs' career do what it did versus, you know, uh, Gabe Rosado's career and what it's doing, you know, I, he said there may be a little envy or jealousy there. I think that maybe it could be, it's a possibility, but you know, I do think Gabe Rosado wants to fight Danny Jacobs. You know, Gabe will fight anybody. So I think Danny Jacobs is, is on his hit list, you know? And if Danny Jacobs doesn't want to fight him, then he becomes on his shit list, okay? But anyway, um, Danny Jacobs puts Caleb Plant at the bottom of the list, calls Gabe Rosado a weasel. You guys tell me what you think about his comments. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace. <laughs>